today is the last power that we are going to talk about. It is power to pack up. So we have to let go, we have to end things, we have to put a full stop in life. So to pack up, just how we So the last time is we have to gather and then pack up and put a full stop in our life. We have to keep thinking or churning about those things. So it's like a yogi who is doing uh, his tapasya, the renunciation, sitting in a cave, away from everything, that yogi becomes very powerful and gains all the powers and strength. And then that person can use the powers whenever it, they are required in the life. Just like that, in life, the more and more we practice all these powers, we get more mature. The soul can get more mature and strong. And then we, we learn to use these powers at the right time. And then we become experienced. And it is said about the experience is that in Hindi, there's a phrase, it says, uh, translated in English, it says that when, there are, when the rays of sun cannot reach, the imagination of a poet can reach. And where, where a poet cannot reach, an experienced one can reach. So the heights we want to achieve, the peak we want to hike up, we can reach using these powers. So for today's power, exclusively we can say that life is a journey and we just have to keep going on and on in this life. Life is not about stopping. It is always continuing. We always have to keep walking further and further. So to keep walking easily and to travel easily, we have to pack up light. The more light we pack, more easily we can travel. So we don't have to carry the extra luggage. If we have to carry the heavy luggage, the journey is not happy or joyful because we get tired lifting our bags and luggage. Just like that, the life is like that. Certain things and tasks we have to just pack up. So in practical and spirituality, the power to pack up is very important. Whether the person is from a small family or a business owner, everywhere, power to pack up is necessary. And if it is not used wisely, person can be or they can leave problems for others. 
sometimes in big families, there, there are some problems because the oldest one who died, he passed away and he didn't do, he didn't, uh, do the proper will and sharing of his property and the whole family will be in fight. So we, have, we must remember two things for power to pack up. We have to remember that this world is a place to travel and we are just guests here. We are just visiting this place. So we just think that we are just here for a moment and we will be at somewhere, somewhere else tomorrow. So look, appreciate and keep moving on. But we don't have to think that, oh, I want to buy that, I want this, I want that, and keep gathering with us. Second thing we have to remember in this life is when there is a problem or situation in life, instead of thinking or developing best thoughts, just think that this time shall pass. It's not gonna stay here forever. So like this, it will be easy to pack up. Instead, if we are in, uh, in questions, why this happened, what happened, that will create more and more complications. We will be sad, disturbed, heavy uh, hearted, Instead, just remember, this shall pass. This too shall pass. And then we, just how the sun comes up every day, we try and be hopeful for a beautiful next day. So we will not keep it heavy in our brain. We will not be tense because of the things what ha which happened. So how do we put a full stop? Someone asks me that, is it like take a full stop and put it on the forehead? And our thoughts just stops right there? So what, what does it mean to put a full stop? To put a full stop means be determined and see the wealth, see the, see the benefactor way in everything. When we have faith in ourselves, faith in the supreme soul we when we have a faith that the creator has made this perfect creation then there is perfection everywhere it, it is possible that to me whatever is visible is elusive and it's not perfect to me but if I pass through this, then there is a beautiful perfection waiting for me. There is a, uh, they say that every cloud has a silver lining. So keep this faith and always see the goodness. The second thing to put a full stop means give a new direction to our thoughts.
in whatever direction we are going or thinking, it, it might be possible that our thoughts might get complexed and entangled. So we have to purposefully direct our thoughts in another direction. Means to come out of negativity. The third thing, if some, someone else has created the situation, how to put a full stop at that time? Radiate best thoughts, best wishes, good blessings towards that soul and bring the goodness in our life. instead of sending the black thoughts towards that soul, just radiate the good energy towards that soul. Fourth point is to put a full stop means just get introverted. Go deep inside and realize that this situation, what this situation is teaching me, every situation comes to teach some kind of lesson and make us experienced in our life. So find out what did we learn from this situation? In what kind of experience this situation wants to give us so that we can be prepared for the next situations which might be very tough. We are getting ready to face that. So the fourth point, is be introvert and turn, go deep and try to figure it out. What lesson the situation is teaching me? The fifth topic, fifth point is experience the love from Supreme Soul. How do we experience the love of Supreme Soul? Some people say that uh, some, something, some uh, situation happens to them very often. So how come this happens so many times? So for example, there is a student and the student fails in one subject for example, uh, mathematics. He's very poor in counting and he makes mistakes. So he cannot put, uh, bring the right answer to mathematical calculations. And then he keeps saying that, why this happens to me so frequently? And the teacher knows that this student is very good in every other thing except the maths. So just because of that, if student uh, fails, that's not right. So the teacher gives the student extra practice to do more mathematics and to learn it correctly. So the broad practice that student does, the more experienced he becomes. So just like that, more perfection comes in his calculations. So just like that, however, After that basic uh, practice and basic foundation, that student can solve whatever complicated problems later on. 
So just like that, we are favorite students of Supreme Soul. He cannot see our failure. He knows that with the slightest weakness, if we fail the exams in life, we may fail the exams in life. So that's why he gives us small, small problems in life to make us strong, to cross the bigger one. So this is what the love of Supreme Soul is. So the love of Supreme Soul is not to weaken us. It is to make us stronger. If a mother just keeps saying that um, she will do everything for the kid, the kid will just stay weaker. But the selfless love makes us strong. And that is the type of love Supreme Soul has for us. The sixth point is, accept a challenge. If you want to do something new, accept a challenge. Don't get scared or afraid looking at the problems. We don't need to back up. But we have to think that the fate is trying to give us something new. Until I, I, I get through this, I will not get that new gift, what fate is wanting me to give. So often we complain, why this happened to me? What happened to me? Why me? Just leave all of those questions. Instead, just put a full stop to those wasted thoughts and accept what fate is wanting from us and keep moving on. In this time and age, the desires have gone so high. There are many things people want. So from where do we start to put a full stop? So number one is the mind. Organize the mind means organize the thoughts. Just like how some people live so organized, everything in the house is in its place compared to others in their homes, everything is displaced and messy. Some people's closets are so organized, everything is so visible and perfectly organized. And some people's closets are just messy and things are falling off from the shelves. So we have to check that every time our thought process should work in a nice way. So first, gather the thoughts, organize and pack them in a beautiful way. There is a team in the mind. We have to organize that team. Team means T-A-A-M, four letters. T means thoughts. E means emotions. A means attitude, and M means memories. 
So mind has this team. So we are required to organize this team. Unless this team is organized, we will not experience the joy in any journey. We will not experience the happiness and this journey will not be enjoyable. So that's why we need to organize team. How do we do that? So number one is thoughts. Thoughts, emotions, attitude, emotions. We have to bring all these four out from past. If because these four factors are lingering into the past, mind has become heavy. So we mind needs to have let go, forgiveness, and clean the mind. To clean the mind, we must think that this soul also has a play in this drama. He is also actor, I'm also actor. Everyone is playing their own role. Just like how there are plays and movies, everyone doesn't get, get a role of hero. Someone is playing a role of hero, someone is playing a role of villain. So, sometimes villain just plays the role so fairly that the villain wins an award. So, just like that in this life also, someone would be a villain, someone would be a hero. So if someone is playing a role of villain, we don't need to question that why this person is doing this or that because that's the role of that person. So we have to accept the role of each and everyone around us because we are hero. I have to play a role of hero. I cannot be a villain with the villain. I have to keep playing a role of hero. Just like how a cow eats grass and gives sweet milk versus snake drinks sweet milk and gives very poisonous bite. So what is the difference? The difference lies in the nature nature of the cow and nature of the snake. So the cow just puts a full stop of eating a grass and transforms and turns it into milk. And the snake is drinking milk and it turns it into poisonous venom. So don't linger mind into the past. Whatever happened in the past, just put a full stop and develop good wishes, good blessings for everyone. If we keep the past in our memory, this person did that to me, that person did that to me. If we just keep thinking 
like that, what are we going to take with us when we live this life? In the next verse also, we all have a return ticket. So it is important what kind of luggage we collect and take it to the next birth. Do we want to collect the jealousy, vengeance, hatred, or something good? So whatever we pack with us, it will make our future journey based upon that. So life is a journey. This journey is a beautiful journey. Nobody knows what happens when it happens. So the journey of this life should be very beautiful. And our attitude should also be very beautiful. How, well, it is said that how a team, the whole team is great. The team becomes winner. Just like that, if our team, the team of mind is very happy and joyful, that is what going to happen to our journey. And we need to inspire each other, taking example of each other, how this person has this amazing team. Let me also elevate my team. We have to keep the wealth of elevated actions with us all the time. So, we have to organize this team. Second point is desires. We want so many things in these days, these and that, and it's, it's just never ending. So, Desires are never fulfilled, even for a king. So it is said that there is enough to satisfy man's need, but there is nothing to satisfy man's greed. Nothing can satisfy our greed and desires and weaknesses and affinities into things. Many times when we do the spring cleaning, we see that there are so many things we never even used for many years. But then again, we just clean and put it back. Why? Why do we keep it? And when, then we attach some kind of memory with it. This person gave me these, that person gave me these. This has attached this memory. The, the other thing has uh, something else. And just like that, we just keep collecting, collecting, and collecting. We, every year, we bring things out, clean, and put it back. Why do we keep it? We don't know. And after we leave this world, people will just throw things out. So the th things we kept with so much love, after we leave this world, this body, people will just throw it out. So 
So there was a King Napoleon. Yeah, he, he conquered more than half of the world. So it is said about him that someone asked him that what, what could be that thing from India that he wants to take along with him. So he replied that he wants to take a saint from India. So they asked why. Because the, the saint gives a perfect wisdom at the right time. So Napoleon liked that logic and he went, uh, he was went into the India. He asked one saint, just come with me. And say, the saint said, no. Napoleon said, you have to come. All the soldier, the soldiers surrounded the saint and say that you have to obey King Napoleon's order. The saint asked, if I don't do it then, then the soldier said, we will cut your throat. Then the saint said, okay, cut it. And the soldiers asked, oh, you're not feared of your, uh, losing your life? The saint said, no, I am not. I am a soul which, who can never die. And then King Napoleon was very much surprised. He, was, he started thinking that people just tremble out of fear hearing my name. And this saint is not at all fearful. He's so fearless. He has conquered the fear. So the saint didn't go with him. He offered so much to the saint, even though saint didn't go, um, go along with Napoleon. Instead, saint said that you are my servant. You are the servant of my servant. The Napoleon was surprised. Why? The saint the saint replied, I am king of my mind. I have conquered my mind and emotions. When you die, what are you going to take along with us from whatever you have conquered? Nothing. Versus me, I have conquered my mind. I have I am king of my senses. I have controlled my desires. Versus you, you don't have any control over your desires. What are you going to take from here when you leave this life? So Napoleon returned back from that point. And he decided that I don't want to conquer any part of the world anymore. But then he uh, gave order to his soldiers that whenever I die, you have to do three things. Number one is, who when I die, whoever takes me, my dead body, those persons should be doctors. Means people should know that when you die, no doctor can save your life. The second thing is Whatever wealth I have gathered, just distribute that wealth onto the way from which they are taking my coffin. 
so that people would know that the big king Napoleon, even though he had so much wealth, it was not of use to save his life. So the number one is doctors and all other kind of all other kind of pathies. Doctors should lift his coffin and then distribute the wealth along the way. And then the third thing is leave my hands out from the coffin so that people can see that when I live this body, I just go empty handed. I couldn't take anything with me into the next life. So that's why we have to gather the best actions, elevated actions, to take it along into the journey, into the next life. Which means we are living this life understanding it very well. Otherwise, we will go into negativity and go under depression. So the more we put a full stop to desires, we can live happily. So the first is organize the team. Second, put a full stop to desires. And the third, fill your bags with valuable things. What are these valuable gems? We have to fill our bags. with the qualities, elevated actions, and just see the positivity in each and every one. Everybody is blessed with one, or a few best qualities in them. Even if they have 99 bad ones, they do have one good quality in them. We can even see one positive quality in a thief. So just gather the good qualities from others and take those good qualities along with you those qualities. So there is example, some person he made he he made guru of thirty two things. Like, like a tortoise, a flower, a thorn. Guru means from which we learn something. So from all these 32, he gathered one good aspect and he packed his bag with good things. Sometimes people think that uh, we have packed our bags with good things only. But then you have to be careful also that you may get robbed. So it's a question mark. How do someone can rob the good qualities? How? So that is from bad company. If we are in a bad company, all the good qualities will run out. If we are trapped 
in any bad company that bad company will just start paint the bad qualities on us we will accept what is not good for us we will get into some addictions so all the bad things will come into our bag and the good things will go out and we will not even be aware of that so that is why it is important be aware of the company we don't want to get trapped in a bad company if we have good gems in our bags our future journey is very joyful so the fourth fourth point is the relationships with this body we have taken so many births in this endless drama in 84 births we have 84 parents in all of those births we have we had siblings we had so many relationships do we remember those do we remember who were our parents in past life even though the the closest relationship with uh parents or our kids we don't remember any of those parents or children the moment the soul leaves that body everything is forgotten so if we are attached with those relationships the soul will not easily leave the body so how do we take this relationships we think like these relationships are just for this life and they will be gone in the next birth so we have to keep this knowledge and don't create attachment and rights don't think that this person is my spouse so i have this right on it on him or her these are my children so i have these right on them so that is why in this drama this endless drama we have taken many births and many relationships but we just leave all of them behind as we change the bodies so in gita the supreme soul says so the god says to arjun that our dharma is to fulfill our actions toward that relationship for example there is a husband husband has to take care of the family father has to do certain things wife has to do certain things so these are the dharmas from these each relationships so the god says to arjun that leave these expectations leave the expectations of this 
धर्मास so we have to fulfill the responsibility dharma means responsibilities of those these relationships but we don't need to get attached with this relationships and just remember only one god if we just remember one god mamikam sharanam then you will free of all the sins if you are attracted and attached in the relationships your sins are not going to burn and then arjun realizes and he realized and says that now i'm completely detached from all the attractions and attachments of relationships and he also realized that no one in this world can be our real companion no one can be can go with us everywhere to the next life there was a king he had four queens the first queen was okay he didn't lo love that that queen so much queen used to love him but he wouldn't go to her so that's why he got married to the second queen but then after some time he got fed up of that second one too and then he got married with third one the third queen was very beautiful very nice but then she had so much uh desires and she was just spending her time in fulfilling her desires then the queen, king gets married to the fourth queen she was nice too so he used to take the fourth queen everywhere he used to go he used to keep the fourth queen everywhere every moment but then the king fell sick and then he realized that now he's going to die so he calls the fourth queen who was very dear to him and he says to the queen that i i i am leaving this body i have to move on and uh, he asked the queen would you come with me and the queen said no i wouldn't go with you now the next uh, journey you will have to do on your own and the king was so shocked that how come she replied to me like that i kept her with me all the time and then he calls the queen number 3 and asked to ask her to go with him he said i have fulfilled all of your desires that then the third queen also says no and then comes the queen number 2 the king asked her to go with him him she said i will give you company up to the funeral home then you go alone and then comes the queen number 1 she just came by herself 
and said, I will go along with you. We too have these four queens. We too give more or less attention. Number one is our nature. The nature is always with us. The queen number two is our friend circle who can drop us up to the funeral home. Third queen is our wealth. Wells would say that if you go, someone else would own me. And the fourth queen, the, the king loved her so much, is our body. We decorated our body so much. We kept it clean. We did this and that. We always took this body with us everywhere. But when it is time to go, leave this world, wherever we are standing, this body will just go. This body will not go with us. We spend so much time, we spend so much money after this body, it just leaves our company. Well, he's also like that. I will go with someone else. Friend circle also will just leave us to the funeral home and then go back to their home. And the number one queen, we never paid attention. We never paid attention to our nature, our attitude, our grooves. If we paid attention to these qualities, we could have taken this along with us to the next part. Giving so much attention to the body, what did we gain? Nothing. That's why Janki Dadi used to say Om Shanti three times is number one, Om Shanti is who is me, who is mine, and who is going to go with me. So that is why we always need to pay attention to our actions. Who is mine? Who is going to go with me? And that is why what I am supposed to do. Raj Yoga is teaching us who is mine. The Supreme Soul is mine and he's going to take care of me. So to put a full stop, we always need to remember that I am a great soul. Great means my each word, each thought, each action should be great. When we are great, we don't have any attachment with anything, any person. We do need to appreciate things around us, people around us, relationships, but we don't need to get attached with it. We can use the things for good purpose, but we don't need to get attached with those things.
there was a king named Janak. He had Lakshmi, the, the goddess of wealth. He had other the queen. He had Saraswati, Lakshmi, and very wealthy. But he he was known as Videhi, means he never he was never attached with the body. Someone asked him that why why are you known as Videhi? Videhi means out of body. You live in. Um, such a wealthy environment, how can you be Videhi? So King Janak replies that I can answer you, but I I will give you a prize and I will also give you punishment for asking this question. So that person asks why, then the King replies that you ask such a good question, so you will get prize. And for that, to get the answer, you have to stay here in the palace for seven days. But after that seven days, you will be taken into the center of the city and then you will be hanged till death. But for these seven days, you enjoy. Stay here in the palace, whatever nice food is being cooked here you can enjoy that you can enjoy the wealth you can enjoy everything here in the palace but after seven days you will be hanged in the center of the city in presence of the people so that person was apologizing to king janak that i'm sorry i asked this question to you But he had no option now. So he had to go live in the palace. He's, he's living in the palace, but he just keeps thinking about that eighth day, that what will happen on the eighth day. So he couldn't enjoy anything in the palace. He was so much in distress. And he couldn't even think that what can he do? The seven days gets over. And then on eighth day, he, he was brought into the center spot in the city. And then King comes there and he, King asks him that, what was your experience of these seven days? Then person de replies that, what experience? The King asks, well, you lived in a palace in so much wealth. What was your experience? And the person replies that, I could not enjoy anything in the thought of what will happen on the eighth day. I couldn't enjoy any food. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't enjoy the luxuries in the palace. And I just uh, went into depression. So the king replied that this is what I am. I wanted to reply to you that I too live in the palace, I too live in this lavishness, but one day I too will have to go. So after the seven days, there is no life. So I just live detached with all this lavishness. 
So just like the King Janak, we have to be detached with the lavishness. And we can move ahead without attachment, free of tangles and tangles. When a person gets so much deeper into the things, it's not easy to live without stress. So that is why the more we stay detached, the more we can stay higher up in high elevated thoughts. So we need to put full stop and pack up these five things. Just like a lotus flower, we have to stay detached and we have to still love everyone around us. We don't need to skip the responsibilities. We don't need to skip our businesses or professions. Just like a bank cashier who counts money whole day, but he understands that this money doesn't belong to me. Even though he gets tired of counting the money, he, it is very much in his knowledge that this money does not belong to him. There was a person who was sick. He was a patient, go to a doctor. He was taking treatment, but he was not getting better. He used to take a briefcase along with him. So doctor asked, one day doctor asked the patient that, do you come here straight from work? He said, yes. He said that I take the work at home so I can work at home too. The doctor asked him that why don't you distribute your work? Distribute your work, make divisions. The patient replies that, no, I don't trust anyone. I don't trust any other person's work, so that's why I do my I do all work by me. The doctor advised the patient to go walk every day in a graveyard. So the patient was surprised. Why are you asking me to go walk in a graveyard? So the doctor replied that when you walk in the graveyard, you will see that the big businessmen are lying there in the graveyard, but their businesses are still running. So you will understand that even if they are not there, their businesses are going well and running, nothing stops. Nothing stops in this world without anyone. So that is why Distributing work is very important. Otherwise, you will be in the graveyard with those people very soon. So if you walk in the graveyard, you will remember that there, the life, the world will still run after you're gone. So some tasks you need to do some task you need to delegate. One day, someone asked Dadi Prakash Mani that you are head of such a big organization. Aren't you tensed any day? Dadi replied that I don't think that I am head of this global foundation. I am just an instrument. The Supreme Soul is just 
doing things and he's just making me instrument to get things done so this is how we become light and the journey is very light and beautiful so that is why god gives three opportunities in human life number 1 is when the baby is about to take birth the the birth of a baby takes 9 months in mother's womb the mother's body is preparing so much around uh, the home other people start prepping up they buy things everything so they do so much efforts to welcome the arrival of a baby they prepare everything the clothing comforts there are so many beautiful things toys available in these days they get everything before even the baby is born the whole family is getting involved in this the second opportunity is when the person get, is about to get married so even before the engagement is um again, even when the engagement is not done they start preparing for the wedding and then the third opportunity is it is is the time to leave this world how much do we prep up for this we prep up so much for first and second one but the third one we completely forget as if we are never going to go away from here and that is why that is very painful because we never get ourselves prepared for that that is why we always remember we must remember that we may have to go one day some day and we have to gather the best elevated actions blessings we need to carry this kind of gems and wealth with us Om Shanti. We will do the meditation. See yourself in this body. as a great soul and a guest i am a great soul i am born into the stage of this world to do the best elevated actions and the god has given me so many gems in the form of good qualities just like that we need to start putting full stop we have to make our team 
the best our thoughts emotions attitude and memory all of this should be the best we have to create the positive thoughts best emotions elevated attitudes directed in the right directions in memories should be put away with a happy full stop desires and expectations should be folded in full stop always remember who am i who is mine in what are my actions make the god a companion and keep walking in his company stay united in this life journey make this journey beautiful by staying happy contented under the loving hood of god stay secure all the time experience the blessing full hand of god on the head life will be easy
Hey, baby. 